taking backups are a critical part of database administration. Amazon RDS creates and saves automated backups of your database instance during the backup window of your database instance. It creates a storage snapshot of your database instance. It backs up the entire instance, not just individual databases. So these automated backups are stored based on your database retention period that you specify. If necessary, you can always recover your database to any point in time during the backup retention period. For automated backups to be successful, your database instance must be in an available state for the automated backups to occur. So pretty much automated backups will not occur while your database instance is in another state other than available. So for example, if the storage is full, your database backup will not go through. It's also important to know that automated backups don't occur while a DB snapshot copy is running in the same AWS region for the same database instance. So basically, you cannot have two backups running simultaneously for the same database instance. You can also backup your database manually by simply manually doing a database snapshot. So if it's the first time you're hearing about snapshot, an RDS snapshot is a storage volume snapshot of the database instance that is created by Amazon RDS for backing up the whole database instance, not just an individual database. So how the RDS snapshot work is that the first snapshot of the database instance contain the full database instance. Subsequent snapshots of the same database instance are incremental. So this means that only data that has changed after your most recent snapshot is saved. If you choose to retain automated backups when you delete the database instance, the automated backups are saved for a full retention period. When you're deleting a database instance, you have the option to retain automated backups. If you check the option to retain the backups, then the automated backups are saved for the full retention period. So if you do not choose to return the automated backup, when you delete the database instance, all the automated backups are deleted with that DB instance. So whenever you delete these automated backups, they can't be recovered. So you have to think carefully about doing this. However, if you choose to have Amazon RDS create a final DB snapshot before it deletes your database instance, you can always recover the database instance. Or you can recover using manual snapshot because manual snapshots are not deleted. You can actually have up to 100 manual snapshots per region. So just like if you are managing on-premise database, you have a window where you schedule automated backups. Postgres RDS is no different. Automated backups occur daily during a preferred backup window. A great feature about Amazon RDS database is that if the backup requires more time than what is allocated to the backup window, the backup continues after the backup window ends until it finishes. It's important that you keep in mind that the backup window can't overlap with weekly maintenance window for the database instance. Another thing you have to keep in mind is that automated backups might occasionally be skipped if the database instance has every workload at the time the backup was supposed to start. If a backup is skipped, you can still do a point in time recovery and the backup will still be attempted during the next backup window. So if you don't specify a preferred backup window when you create a database instance, Amazon RDS assigns a default 30 minute backup window. This window is selected at random from an 8 hour block of time for each AWS region. For added disaster recovery capabilities, you can actually configure your Amazon RDS database instance to replicate snapshots and transaction log to a destination AWS region of your choice. When the backup replication is configured for a database instance, RDS initiates a cross-region copy of all snapshots and transaction log as soon as they are ready on the database instance. However, you must keep in mind that this will be at an additional cost for you.